that's sick. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's try this. Reporting live from the Scotiabank Arena after a Raptors win, it's live from last week. Episode 99. Let's go. Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So recalling how just two weeks ago, I had a workout with my former co-worker, Crystal, which was also the last time I was at a Planet Fitness. I realizing after seeing that my belly is growing little by little, I probably should head back to the gym. So I'm back in Saga to go to my local Planet Fitness again for the first time since this episode and see what kind of stuff I could do today at the gym. Well actually what I ended up doing was instead of working out I used the Planet Fitness facilities utilizing their Wi-Fi and electrical outlets to just edit this week's past live from last week video. But one thing I am recalling are the new features that this Planet Fitness will have for new workout machines. And well, one thing that I'm pretty excited to use once they bring it in are these things called the rowing machines. So hopefully once they get that equipment, I'll finally have the motivation to try to reduce and cut down this beer belly. Anyways, while I sit here and chill in the parking lot, waiting for the wife to finish up her dentist appointment, We'll just do a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First of all, we have a couple of birthday shout outs to a couple of family friends out there of whom I know through my cousin Ray. We got a birthday greeting to Charlie. Happy birthday, Charlie. And a birthday greeting to Buon. Happy birthday, Buon. We've also got some birthday greetings to a couple of elementary school and high school friends. A birthday shout out to Jade. Happy birthday, Jade. And a birthday shout out to Allison. Happy birthday, Allison. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of our friends who is currently traveling all around the world at this time, as well as who gave us this pretty cool postcard from when she was in Greece. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Mara V. Happy birthday, V. I'm hoping that all my friends out there that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. All right, I see the wife coming now. Let's check out how clean her teeth are. That's your teeth. Wow, they're so clean. You did you notice they fixed it? This chip? one. Yeah, I used to have a chip there. They fixed oh, it. Oh, so cool. See, it's fixed now. Yeah. It's cool. really bright white now too. Yeah. So after passing out really early last night, before I got the chance to wrap up my segment yesterday, I decided to come back to my local Planet Fitness in Saga and try my second attempt at working out this week. And guess what guys? This morning, I didn't come to Planet Fitness to work out yet again, but instead headed straight to the coin operated massage chairs. Just kidding. I got done my first workout in two weeks by heading to the 30 minute express Planet Fitness workout area and getting a little bit of my sweat on. So after wrapping up this morning's workout, then massage chair hopping over the past half hour from one chair to another, to the point where I felt just like jello afterwards, let's continue on with what I was doing last night before I passed out where we stopped by a local Home Depot to get paint samples for the renovations in the Saga kitchen. What do you think? Looks good. Good job. And I edited some live from last week video while sampling some Halloween candy of my own, which were the same candies that I handed out two weeks ago while it was Halloween in Saga. And during my edits, I was reminiscing about what I did 24 hours prior. Recalling this scene from last week where I promised you guys I'd make a music video. So unfortunately guys, I just had to show you a couple of clips from the concert. But you'll have to wait till next week to check out the music video I made. Well guys, here's that music video from the Blackpink concert.
Guys, I had such a great time at that concert that over the past 48 hours, I've just been jamming out to Blackpink songs in my head. And also recalling that time that my cousin had this customized black pink mask. He's ready. Made by our other cousin, Edouave. We met up with the one, the only Elron post concert. Elron, Elron, woo! And after saying hi to him, we headed back to Saga, to a local late night eats place for pho, and enjoyed this very delicious looking Vietnamese food back at the Saga home to wrap up our Monday night. But fast forwarding to today, where I'm about to pick up the wife from the Saga home after I let her sleep in this morning, I'm headed back downtown to meet up with my coworker Gomes to check out the Raptors game tonight. So after a fun night going to the Raptors game with Gomes, in this beautiful 17 degree mid-November weather where I'm able to wear my shorts outdoors, I'm just redeeming all the things that were promos at last night's game, including this free pizza pizza slice, as well as the free McDonald's Beyond the Arc promotion, with a minimum purchase of $1, getting a free medium fries. Woo! Free pizza, free fries. Thanks Raptors! I'm also recalling this event where Gomes got a free t-shirt. Oh. Is it a jersey? Is it a jersey? Oh. <laughs> Thrown to her by this Raptors hype man in the crowd. Gomes also broke her curse of the Raptors losing every time she goes and watches them at the Scotiabank Arena. Gomes has her first win! Woo! And credits me for bringing her and the Raptors good luck last night. But yeah, I'm also remembering that before the game, we went to Longo's and I was able to utilize this Christmas gift that the wife gave me. This utility tool called the Hedgehog that helped us open up a couple of drinks to enjoy with our patented Longo fries last night. I'm also remembering that when I was on my way home from the GO train station, I actually ran into a longtime friend that I haven't seen since before the pandemic. Yo guys, look who I ran into at the Scarborough GO station. Twain and Conley! Yo! It's been crazy. Five years since 2017? Least, yeah. Since my first time meeting Jay? Yeah, man. So, it's my like, first time meeting And Twain. I know his wife because we also went to school together. Crazy! <laughs> crazy! Crazy! Oh, oh, back in the FSAT days! Yo! Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, after sleeping pretty well over the past two nights, sleeping this much on Tuesday night, and this much on Wednesday night, after a very busy five days off of work, I'm ready to go in for my first of my two night shifts. But before I do, I have a couple of birthday greetings to people that made cameos in previous Live From Last Week videos. With the first birthday greeting going out to one of my volleyball friends who I once won a championship with that one time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Mia. Happy birthday, Mia. We've also got another birthday greeting to a family friend that I've ran into at the mall and at work in previous episodes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ronalyn. Happy birthday, Ronalyn. And last but not least, I got a birthday shout out to my... Oh man, the perks of shooting live video in the middle of a public parking lot. Oh boy. 
Anyways, last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to my nephew, who just recently became an older, bigger brother. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Gabby. Happy birthday, Gabby. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Today is November 11th, a day marked to remember and honor those who have served and are currently serving for our country. Being peacekeepers all around the world so that we can live a life of freedom here in Canada. In the day that we call today, Remembrance Day. And once again, this is a big thank you to those who are currently serving and who have served for our country. Which also coincidentally falls on a day where we have a couple of birthday greetings. With my first birthday shout out of the day going to yet another TFC fan. With whom I have great memories with when I went with him to Chicago to watch the aforementioned Toronto FC play. This birthday greeting goes out to you Dwayne. Happy birthday Dwayne. And we've got another birthday shout out to my cousin who in the past I've won a beach volleyball championship with back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you Ray. Happy birthday Ray. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But moving on, after I got yet another ground level parking spot in the parking garage at work last night, right now I'm in the middle of my set of two night shifts. Where I just can't stop thinking or reminiscing about all the fun that I had at the Blackpink concert earlier this week. <laughs> And it doesn't help that instead of just focusing on editing my live from last week footage in between my night shifts, I just found myself on Facebook watching several Facebook stories videos from one of my other friends, Ray, who caught a couple of clips from his seats from the concert on Monday. And honestly, I thoroughly enjoyed watching these videos as it brings back a lot of fun memories that I had on Monday. So this is a quick shout out to Ray. Thanks again for posting those videos on your Facebook story for others to enjoy. But anyways, it's time to get ready for my night shift tonight and get that shift done as we have quite a busy weekend coming up. So I initially thought that we were gonna have a busy Saturday, but after only getting minimal sleep post night shift, we had to reschedule some lunch plans with friends, which actually had allowed me to stay in and freed me up for some time to edit some live from last week video all day today. Also, I notified the wife that I bought a pair of 2022 Toronto Argonaut playoff tickets to watch them play against the Montreal Alouettes and see who will advance to this year's 2022 CFL Grey Cup Final. So this evening, I decided to go down to the locker seeing just how packed it was and made it the challenge of the day to try to find my Argos jerseys in storage. And after quite some time trying to find these babies, I miraculously was able to rearrange and fit my things back in that same locker. The only thing is I'm just a little bit worried on what I'll have to do and how long it will take me when in a couple of weeks I'll have to try to search out through that locker and find my Christmas tree. Anyways, before I call it a night and try to catch up on some sleep, why don't we do some birthday greetings? Starting with a belated birthday greeting to one of our family friends who introduced me to DSLR cameras back when we had fam jams at 52. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Carlene. Happy birthday, Carlene. Continuing on with today, we had a birthday greeting to one of my former classmates back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Shoko. Happy birthday, Shoko. We've also got a birthday greeting to a friend that I made back when I visited Michigan for Ellen May's debut. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Leslie. Happy birthday, Leslie. Next up, a birthday shout out to somebody who I used to see back when we were living downtown in our days at Wysik. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Nadja. Happy birthday, Nadja. Another birthday greeting that we have for today is to a friend that we made on that Filipino camping trip that we had several years back and another former mini owner. This birthday greeting goes out to you Novi. Happy birthday Novi. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to somebody who positively influenced me back when I was in high school and who I used to call mother. This birthday greeting goes out to you Pam. Happy birthday Auntie Pam. 
I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after a semi-restful sleep last night, I made my way to the Exhibition Go Station in midst of all this construction at the station, wearing my Argos gear that I found in the locker last night, and made my way to BMO Field, winning this beautiful new Argos toque in a contest over here, where I'm ready to catch the 2022 Eastern Conference CFL Final between the Montreal Alouettes and our beloved Toronto Argos. Guys, what a game that was! Being at that stadium for the first time since I drove by BMO Field that one foggy night, the wife and I witnessed the Toronto Argonauts win the game and celebrated the fact that the Argos are off to the CFL Championship next week, the Grey Cup. Going to the Grey Cup, baby! Woo! We're going to the Grey Cup, baby! Woo! Let's go, Argos! We too were actually so happy that the wife also broke out in tears of joy from the win. <laughs> and in terms of all the in-game fun that we had, in the cold, we enjoyed a couple of little nap times in between plays. Feeling the warmth of the sun when it came out from behind the clouds. But we also stayed awake, experiencing a couple of jump scares from fireworks and cannons going off in the middle of the game. Oh. 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 Oh, I knew it! And did I mention, we also ran into a special guest. Oh, look who's here at the Yargos game. Yo, special guest Jonas. <laughs> Yo, Argos game. Big Argo fan I right too. <laughs> also, after looking outside the window this morning, I think the wife and I experienced the first official snowfall in Toronto of 2022. Ooh, the first snowfall of the year in Toronto. November, what day is it? November the 13th, the first snowfall of the year. Oh yeah, today's the 13th. <laughs> and speaking of other things to celebrate, I have a quick birthday greeting to my high school friend, Stormy. Happy birthday, Stormy. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But anyways, before we wrapped up the night, I headed to the nearby St. Maria Goretti Church to attend Sunday Night Mass, then went to this restaurant that we haven't been to in quite a while. 
the legendary Haka number one to get some takeout. So guys, allow me to go ahead and eat my dinner and I'll just catch y'all again tomorrow. So today, I just wanted to start off with my friend's fundraiser, helping to raise funds for her daughter's sports team in Whitby, of which they're promoting two bottles of wine for only 25 bucks. That will be delivered just in time for the holidays and would also make a great stocking stuffer for all the wine lovers out there. But yeah guys, be sure to DM me by the middle of the day on November 19th if any of y'all want to help me support this fundraiser. Anyways, throwing back to my niece's birthday that happened last week, today I was able to taste one of the giveaways from that party in the form of this very unique cake pop earlier this afternoon. Okay, so uh, what do I do? Mmm, very good. Thank you. And after having this small bite of cake loaded with calories, sweet, I hopped onto my stationary bike for the first time in a long time since actually this recorded session in the past, where I was able to build up a sweat, see just how out of shape I am, and burn a couple of calories, getting my heart rate up to 90% of its capacity in a nice 60 minute session earlier this evening. I also got to continue being healthy tonight having this nice little salad while watching the Raptors game in the background when they're in Detroit, which is the game that my coworker Robert traveled to to watch in person. And I told him to take a picture of exactly where he's sitting inside the arena, promising him that I'll find him on TV while watching the game. And little did I know, I would find him making an on-screen cameo while I took a couple of these photos from the game on my TV. All joking aside, let's do a couple of birthday greetings for today. With the first birthday greeting going out to a friend that I made while in line trying to get some MMVA wristbands. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Caitlin. Happy birthday, Caitlin. And my next birthday shout out goes out to a family friend who I know through my cousin Louie and who I last saw when we went to that destination wedding in Jamaica. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Anthony. Happy birthday, Anthony. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah guys, that pretty much wraps up this week's 99th episode of Live From Last Week. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.